Here we have some interesting mods from the British company Bremont, a brand I've been wanting to talk about for a long time. The company Bremont was founded in 2002 in the UK and began its journey by creating pilot watches that still are a large part of the company's DNA. But they also create everything from diving watches and sports watches to dress watches. All Bremont models are hand built in the UK. This is something that strongly contributes to the fact that the quality of a Bremont is higher than many other watch brands in the same price category. And that is certainly something you feel when you hold a Bremont watch in your hands. Bremont has many collections and some of the watches are also used by army personnel. Regardless of the collection, a pilot or military theme can often be seen for example on the company logo, which is of a propeller. Most of Bremont's watches have their unique triptych case. It's a three-part construction consisting of the bezel, a middle part with the lugs, and lastly the back of the case. It's a design where the lugs stand out, especially when you look at the watch from the sides. Here we have selected some interesting mods from the largest collections. Bremont themselves separate the watches into sea, land and air categories. We've sorted them here into diving watches and pilot watches. They also offer dress watches, but because I haven't handled them yet, I won't review them here. We will begin with these two Bremont Supermarine S500 models. One with a black dial and one with a blue dial. Which actually are the predecessors of the current versions S501 and S502. Design-wise, there are not many major differences between them, but the S501 has a different dial design and a transparent case back. And the S502 is also a GMT watch. I would argue that one of the advantages of these two S500s we have here in front of us are the dials and especially the lovely blue dial color. The size is 43mm with a lug to lug measurement of just over 50mm and a height of 16.5mm. So in terms of these dimensions, it's not a small watch. The way it looks and feels can maybe best be compared to a 44mm Seiko Marine Master, which is one of my personal favorite dive watches on the market. Here you can see how it looks on a 16 cm wrist. And of course it will fit better on normal to slightly larger wrists. The black dial has that vintage feel and that makes it a bit more discreet than the blue dial variant, which shines and is more visible, especially in the right light. It's a really lovely blue dial color which together with the cathedral-like hands creates an incredibly unique layout. A small but important detail that not all watch brands think about is the background of the date window, which here is blacked out. And that does a lot, in my opinion. The rubber strap feels sturdy and nice and has a clasp that has a nice combination of polishing and brushing areas. One of the details that caught my eye the most was the extremely unique crown guard, which has a design I've never seen before. It reminds me a bit of an Oris Aquis, but like cut in half and then increased in size. The movement is a BE36AE, which is ETA based 
and has 25 joules and a power reserve over 38 hours. The water resistance is a full 500 meters and we really don't expect anything less in this case size. And with the retail price which is around $4,995. This is how the bezel sounds. Which is a matter of taste, what you think of it. I prefer a brighter sound, although I don't mind this. There is also a smaller version of this model, the S300, or rather the S301 and S302, which comes with 300 meters of water resistance and has a smaller case in all dimensions. However, it does not come with the same crown guard. The Bremont Argonaut RS is a model that is both a dive watch and can be seen as a military watch, which is however a broad expression. A military inspired diver's watch is maybe the best term I can come up with. And this Bremont is a really lovely watch. It is characterized by the internal rotating bezel, a feature that only a few dive watches on the market have. And it's nowhere near as common as the usual external dive bezel we are used to on dive watches. The big difference is that you get an extra crown that controls the bezel instead of you doing it directly on the bezel. For those of us who only use dive watches on land, it can maybe be seen as a slightly more sophisticated way to use the dive bezel. The case measures 42mm and the watch sits like a normal 42mm watch, but not like a 42mm dive watch. Which is really important to note. The reason is that the dial is larger than a normal 42mm diver's watch that comes with the external dive bezel. The lug to lug measurement is approximately 49mm and it has a bandwidth of 20mm. So this watch belongs on normal to slightly larger wrists. The water resistance is 300m and of course it comes with Super Luminov on the dial and has a screw down crown that we expect in a real dive watch. Which this one is. The movement is a BE92AV and has a 42 hour power reserve. Even though in terms of price this is one of the most affordable Bremont watches, this Argonaut RS and the MB Viper is the two most quality Bremont watches I've held, at least the feeling of them. From using the crowns, which is a super smooth experience, to wearing it on the wrist. Even though these are too big for my wrists. The Pilot Watch ALT1 ZT51. Like many Pilot chronographs, it has a complex dial with many hands and index markings. We also have two nice silver colored subdials that stand out and make them easier to read. The main dial is black and has a matte finish. A nice detail as mentioned earlier is the dark background of the date window which gives a discreet expression. We also find some red details on the hands, which is a really nice touch. The size of the case is 43mm with a lug to lug measurement of 50mm and a thickness of 16.4mm. Even though it has this trip tick case design, which makes it feel smaller on the wrist, a slightly larger wrist is needed here. The watch also has a GMT function, which you control with the normal crown, but you also get an extra crown at the 8 o'clock position, which allows you to measure a third time zone. 
We get 100 meters of water resistance, which is welcomed in a chronograph. One thing I do miss. That's the screw down crown or crowns, which Bremont has on most of their different models. I've looked at and they do it so well, so why not have it on this watch also? The movement is a BE54AE, which is a modified ETA7750 that is chronometer certified and has a 42 hour power reserve. The watch is priced at $5,695, so it's not a cheap watch. But at the same time, it is a model that has a lot in terms of functions from a watch brand like Bremont, which creates extremely high quality watches and it is prevalent here. So all in all, Bremont has created a really interesting and attractive model here. It's a special watch with a lot of functions. Bremont is an interesting watch brand, to say the least, and the more I learn about the brand and notice the quality, the more I like it. I may be wrong, or you may not agree with me here, but I find it difficult to see any major influence from iconic watches, such as a Royal Oak or a Nautilus, and I mean that's something we see often with newly created watch brands, but I don't see it here in the Bremont watches. And that's a major positive for Bremont to actually create a design language that is their own. And maybe the watches and the collections are not super unique, but they are unique enough, in my opinion. But what do you think? Please let us know in the comments. If you liked this video, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more of this kind of content. Thanks for watching.